So 2K dropped the secret patch overnight, and even though we don't know what it is, we do know what it isn't, and it isn't for this. The boy Steezo is out there going crazy on the dribble moves, man. He's letting y'all know that Mike Wong, you are up on notice. This dribble style is one of the craziest ones in the game. He's got cigs, he's got everything. He dropped a little 10 minute video on this joint, man, letting y'all know, look, I am back and I will never leave you again. Yeah, he said, the boy said he been going through a little something, something, man. If you want to know the whole thing, go watch the video for yourself. But he did drop this tweet to let y'all know what the business is. And it's this, my dribble style doesn't cost adrenaline boost. <laughs> Dropping the video soon, this is broken. And hey, I can't deny it because what I'm looking at right here is something that I've not seen anybody doing in 2K so far. But hey, it is what it is. The boy Steezo did Steezo for the reason that he is Steezo, man. Make sure y'all go check out the video. But before we get started, make sure y'all drop a like on this video, man. Look, every time y'all drop a like, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get the main video underway. Like I said, Steezo's up there going crazy. Link to this video will be down in the description. He's killing it. The guy's back. Hopefully, he'll be dropping content. This, this, this one thing about 2K23, it's got the whole community excited. Everybody seems to be back. Like when, when Steezo comes out of nowhere and everybody says, Steezo, Steezo, we need you to help us defeat the dribble, the dribble monster. And he actually answers the call. That lets you know that not all heroes wear capes. The boy Steezo is back doing this thing. I enjoy his content. It's, it's, it's like the, the, the views that he gives. It's just a unique style of content. It's not just the dribbling. You can actually watch one of Steezo's video. And even if you're not into the dribbling, y'all let me know if I'm wrong. Even if you're not into the dribbling aspect of it, you don't even gotta watch it. You can just listen to it and you go get some nuggets. He gonna talk to you about life. He's gonna do all this type of stuff, man. And it's just, it's just entertaining. It's as entertaining to watch as it is to listen to. I would argue it's more entertaining to listen to, but that's just me, man. Look, up first, bro, we got this right here. We got, uh, I don't know, like I said, we don't know what the patch is, but I have a good idea of what it might possibly be, and it's this right here. <laughs> they said, hey, the, the, the boy uh, Juan dropped this. He said, 2K hit us with a 1.5 update this morning, most likely fixing the VC glitch and the XP exploit that was going on yesterday. And a lot of people didn't even know about it. I didn't even know about it. Normally, I look out there and I try to see what type of stuff is going on, but I missed it. And then uh, Flight Weed said, there's no VC glitch or badge glitch yesterday. And Juan replied, you definitely didn't know about it because it wasn't on YouTube. But, uh, but I know my friend got 5 million VC and 5 to 10 bills maxed out to 99 with the badges. And, uh, you know, to kind of show y'all what he's talking about, bro, you see this thing right here. This is from, uh, King Sharp. And he says, I dropped the, do I drop the method? And, and you just see right here, it's just crazy amounts of, of, it's almost like what was that the 2k20 the 2k20 glitch where you could you could go in and it required a whole lot of you but when you went in and did the stuff this is what would happen is it effectively effectively you were stacking games on top of games and every time you stacked a game on top of another game it would multiply and you would get crazy amounts of vc as well as crazy amounts of uh of xp and you can max out players literally in in like five to ten minutes or something like that and uh you know it is what it is man it's one of those things where we know that 2k is going to come out here and be on top of stuff like that immediately now we still got playstations and xboxes shutting off and they can't even play direct or some people can't play the playstation at all but obviously it was more important to patch this glitch than that glitch because if you patch that glitch then i guess you're you're making it so that uh that you're making it so that you actually know about that glitch or something like that. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments, is that typical 2K or not? Hey, we gotta, tell, we gotta say the good with the bad. I feel like I'm not mad that they patched the VC glitch because that does hit their pocket, but at the same time, you gotta take care of what's important. You got people that can't even play the game right now. They can't even play the game. The boy Poor Boy Sin said he got 500 people blocked and it's a cool down un un unblocking people. And then like some people can't even play the game. They get in the blue screen. Some people, when they do try to play rec or certain game modes, that PlayStation says it's gonna overheat and then it'll shut down. And then you got some people like, bro, we, we play rec. Hey, we don't even know if we gonna get a chance to complete that game or not because it might cut off. 
We got that. I just think we got more pressing things to be dealing with than a VC glitch or XP glitch. But at this point in time, VC and uh and, and XP are so crazy to get in this game. Maybe it was game breaking, but that's probably what it was. Up next, we got the boy Tycino, aka Fracino. Hey, he say he's doing his thing, man. Out there broke the game, break doing my thing, breaking the game. And like I said, I showed y'all this yesterday how you can break out of that move, come back, spin, fader, and it's good. Like, like you just said, second play. Second play here is way harder um, than it looked to pull off that fluidity without a stoppage in the animation. Need to move the ball left, I mean, to the left hand before the spin without hesitating. That's crazy right there, man. I ain't gonna lie. It seems like everybody's having fun. The skill gap is there. Um, it seems like at least it is right now because nobody's got badges, but at the same time, uh, you know, you it's, it's like IQ is reigning supreme, and you're gonna have to play team basketball this year, at least for the time being. But with that being said, boy, Tacino, Fracino, you got some explaining to do. Look at this right here, man. Check it out. He goes baseline, dribbles, pump fakes, comes back, dribbles some more. Wait a minute! Whoa! Wait a minute! Is this back in the game? What game was that? Was this 2K20 or was it 2K19 where that was in the game where people could do that? They could do, they could dribble the basketball, go fake pass, and then you could dribble it some more. Now, I know he didn't mean to do it, and he probably doesn't have any clue how he did it, but I'm just saying to myself, bro, this is, how is this back in the game when we know that all the next gen stuff was built from the ground up. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all that's, that's all I'm saying, bro. How did this find its way back into the game? I'm just joking. I'm having I'm having some fun. Like it's not anything that that is crazy, but I would like for 2K to get on top of that and let's let's make sure we get that fixed because that was something that was in the game. Uh, I forgot, like I said, I don't know if it was 2K19 or if it was 2K20 where it was a big issue, but we know that it was an issue. And uh, you know, let's let's just get that thing straightened out since we since we taking care of the VC glitches and all the glitches, and let's just take care of that one too. Uh, you know, as soon as we can. That's all I'm. That's all I'm asking. Up next, the boy. Dive work says, started out bricking like a mother Found the right jump shot. Now I'm wondering if I'm skilled or if it's or if the game is too easy because I'm hitting wild shots with zero badges. Definitely not complaining. I like the game, but I mean when but I mean when I get badges, it's gonna be super crazy. Uh, super scary at this rate and that's what i that's what i feel like too if you watch my stream yesterday you saw me in there brick ing i ain't even trying to hide it from y'all man I, I mean i couldn't i couldn't because i got on look this is what i did i got on the spot brute them said hey yo get on get on um we really don't got time for you to create <laughs> create a jump shot we just need you to uh we just need you to get on and so i hopped on and I was like, yo, uh, this is, this shooting, I didn't even know what jump shot I had. And then, you know, once I figured it out, um, once I figured it out, I was pretty decent. But like not having your own jump shot and the jump shot timing that you want is very, very crazy. And it's very tough to shoot the basketball uh, this this year. The boy Swante says about that. So he says 2K opened up the green window and lowered the white window. Uh, while the overall make percentage could still be close to last year. This is a visual thing more than anything uh, with the same result. That is why I said, stop saying too many whites go in instead of saying uh, too many mistimed or contested shots go in. And that's, you know, I kind of seconded that. I said exactly, but people don't get, don't get it. They just say things with no thought to how the devs were interpreted. And then he says, yep, you can tell, you can tell who the real bots are because they can't tell people are really, really, are really fake comp too if they can't tell. Their opinions is no longer valid. And what I'm trying to say is like, as I said, yeah, you can, I actually responded to that and said, you're absolutely right. Um, I said, you're absolutely right because we see people hitting bounce back greens. So we know that there's a green zone. You don't have to hit it on the way up in the green zone. You just gotta hit it anywhere in that green zone and you're gonna be good. I'm not saying that I don't like that. I'm just saying that that's what they did and they had, they would have us to believe that they did something else. That's 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 pretty much it. Uh, the boy Mike Wong, he came through and he, he gave out some shooting tips. If you're having some issues with shooting, he said the Claymore badge, stand still off ball to boost your shooting ability. At one second, boost begins and gets stronger the longer you wait to max to a max of four seconds. After your catch, um, after 
catch, you got to shoot. Okay, if you move, the spot, uh, the spot, if you move off the spot, the boost disappears. And that's something that they, I think they were trying to make those like spot up uh, expert or something like that was last year. It was supposed to be like that, but it never really was because you had to catch the ball and then sit still. They didn't, they, it's, like, it's like they had the definitions wrong. You needed to, we wanted it to be, you have to stand still, then catch the ball. But they wanted you to stand still and then, I mean, catch the ball and then stand still for three seconds and then shoot. Well, who in the, who in the is open for that long in 2K? So I'm glad they got the definition in that right. When I'm saying definitions, it's like, it's a programming thing. So it's just like, you have to define things a certain way or they won't, uh, they don't work a certain way. Uh, Mike also put out a little poll, man. He said, zero plans to touch it, but, just for my curiosity, how do you feel about perimeter shooting so far in NBA 2K23? If you have specific gripes, let me know in the comments. Specify mode slash difficulty um, if, if possible. I got no opinion on it right now, and I'm going to tell you why I got no opinion on it right now because I don't know anything right now. I literally don't know anything. I've only played the game for like three or four hours and I didn't have my real jump shot. So without having my real jump shot, I can't tell y'all. I did, however, create a jump shot and I'm gonna drop that video. As soon as this video get to 500 likes, I'm gonna drop y'all a fire jump shot. That joint got A's like across the board, dang near. Now, one thing you can't get, you can get, I have seen that if you get an A in, um, if you get an A for shot speed, it's very hard to get anything other than a C for the shot height because it just means that the person is just going to throw it up there. So just keep that in mind. But everything else is A's and A minuses or what have you. So y'all make sure y'all get this joint to 500 and I'm going to drop the video uh, ASAP. But like I said, I don't know really what's going on with the shooting. I can't really tell y'all anything about it. Um, because like I said, we don't have badges. Nobody really got a good jump shot. Nobody really knows what's going on. So, you know, it is what it is. He also talked about the jump shot celebrations and he said for jump shot celebrations to play, you have to hit three consecutive shots in a row. For each green after that, there's a chance it will play, but it won't play every time. If you miss, the counter resets. And I can't even get mad at that because we want to keep the suspense. We like not knowing if we green that shot or not, I'm not gonna lie, I do, and I like, cause I like crashing boards. I made my guy, and the build video will be up this evening too. I made my guy with 80 offensive rebounding. I like people not being able to leak out, and I can go to that rim and try to get a rebound if my guy doesn't get it. But at the same time, you know, I don't have to worry about somebody really leaking out and all that. And I got 93 defensive rebounding on a lot, so. And I got everything else, like 70 plus ball head. I got everything on that dude, man. So I'm gonna put that out later. Uh, up next, they got yet to lose a game on NBA 2K23. Post scorer is better than ever. That's the boy post looking, man. The boy post looking been terrorizing Tassino for a little bit, man. I think Tassino got him some get back on last night, man. But uh, I really feel like they're gonna have to do something about they're gonna have to do something about this post hooking stuff, man. Like a lot of people complaining about it. You seen Nate spaz out about it the other day, and it's like you're contesting the shot, but you can't contest the shot. But again, this is a legacy issue, and if it's it's just I, I I know I'm always joking and jesting about being built from the ground up, but come on, man, this is a legacy issue. It should not be. It's something that shouldn't make it into every 2K, just like Phase or something that make it into every 2K, but it doesn't. But this is something that you never seen in 2K. That boy right there, that boy. I'm with this dunk, boy. Wee! <laughs> why you gonna allow him to make that thing into a short right there? Why you gonna cap? Look at that boy swinging on the rim. That boy John Morant getting on that rim, and then you know, hey, he just swinging right there. I think that's why they put the little thing where they where they switch the um where they switch the the uh scenes into the joint because you know they don't want people they don't want just that to happen and last but not least gaming's got to be at a good place when you see a hey, you see the boy the doc doc the doctor of disrespect i remember when we all came into youtube at the same time man and it said you see what it says it's perfect at dr disrespect and that's barstool gaming and you just see you see the google prototypes you see the you see the mullet and you see the doggone the um the the headphones man the steel listen gaming has come a long way this guy it, it's it's crazy that y'all don't know that well a lot of y'all don't know doc been around since since the same time that i have since like 2009 where we were all on machinima just trying to make it he wasn't even the most popular person on machinima it was the kids it was like uh it was like X Jaws, Woody's Gamer Tag, all of those guys, man. This is a guy 
I, I like Doc because he's a testament to perseverance. If you keep going, hone your craft. Everybody said that his videos were over the top and some of the best at, back then anyway. And it just took time for people to realize what it was, man. And so this is where we're at and this is the fruits of labor. If you're really good at something and you got talent, your talent can't be denied forever. So it's just one of those things, everything coming to fruition. Like I said, we've been around forever. So it's time he got his just due. Glad he did. And you know what I'm talking about? We gonna try to see that I get some of my just do. I ain't gonna never be like Doc. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure y'all drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you think that anything changed or did they patch that glitch. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.